Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to look at how to use Vueify with Inertia Vue.js. I have an installation of Laravel that I have created, just a new application. So I would like us to go ahead and install Inertia and then we will go ahead afterwards install Vueify and set it up such that everything will work together. So we will go to Inertia, Inertia.js. And I would like us to begin with the server-side uh, setup. That means we will install our Inertia Composer package. Inertia is fully installed. We'll go back to this directory and create a blade file that we will name app.blade.php. So we go to resources, views, and inside here we have a new file which we're going to call app. Inside app.blade.php, we will paste this root um, template. And then after that, we will run PHP inertia middleware to create our handle inertia requests middleware. And then finally, we will add it to the middleware classes. And that we will go to bootstrap app and scroll to where we have with middleware and this is where we can be able to paste that and that means we have been able to successfully set up inertia on the server side let us go to the client side and here we need to install inertia js adapter for view and so i'm going to paste that one here npm install at inertia js forward slash view 3 and as that continues to install, as you can see in our bootstrap app, we are supposed to import handle inertia requests above here to just uh, remove that error. We need to also install Vue.js. So I will write, I will run the command npm install view at next. And we can also install the Vite plugin for view. So at Vite.js plugin hyphen view, we'll hit enter. And we are having issues with uh, installing view at next. So let me just run npm install view at uh, latest and um, at uh, write js forward slash plugin hyphen view. After that, we will go to we will copy whatever it is that we have here, then go to resources js app.js, and we can add or instantiate our view application by pasting whatever it is that we have here. So we can be able to load pages from a directory that we are going to create inside the js directory and i would like us to create a new folder and we will call it pages and inside here i want us to have one file so let me just have new file let us call it home.view and i want it to have the script tags and the template and this is where our code will be going to I would like to leave this for now and go and uh, just set up something in Vite.js, config.js. So you have import view from at Vite.js plugin view. After that, we can have, after the comma, we can have view like that. And that is okay. The last thing I want us to do is to go to Vuetify. And remember, Vuetify is a view, is a component a library or component framework for Vue.js. And so it can assist you to just have nice uh, components for your application. And it is based off uh, material UI. So whatever it is that you have are nice looking components so let us go ahead and see how to install so you click on install installation getting started 
And I would like us, there are various ways in which you can be able to install. If you install using Vite, it will create a whole directly of a view application. But for us, we just want to sprinkle Vuetify in our view application. So we will look at other options. So you can install using Next. You can install Laravel Mix, Vite Press, and then you can install in existing projects. And this is what I want. So I will click, I will install using NPM. That is what I've selected. So just come to this place and paste it. So npm i vuetify. And then as it installs in the instructions, we are supposed to import vuetify. So you copy all this and uh, paste in our app.js file above here. So after we have imported every other thing, we can also import vuetify. And then after that, for us to be able to use it, we can. Um, be able to declare as uh, it has been done here you just paste below here and then use plugin we can also say dot use vuetify like that and i believe um everything is uh, okay as far as what we have done here now after that I would like us to attempt and see if we can actually be able to load some of the components. For me to do that I would like us to instead of returning the welcome view as we are having it here I would like us to return home so I can uh, change this instead of return view I can say return inertia render like that and the page we are looking for is home the one that we did create here, home.view. Inside resources, JavaScript, resources.js, uh, pages, directory. And above here, it's important to import use inertia inertia, and that is uh, good enough. I would like to just um, refresh. Obviously, you will see nothing because in our templates, we have nothing actually. But if I go back to our home.view and maybe type anything inside our template here, we are having issues a bit because we are supposed to run npm install and npm run dev. So let me just do that. npm run dev. Yes, so let me refresh again. And now you can see whatever text I had typed being displayed somewhere. Now I would like us to maybe just look at what uh, Vuetify has to offer. So we have wireframes where we have some pre-built uh, components for whatever it is that you may want to achieve, three columns, team, constraint, and so on and so forth. So those ones are sort of like examples that you can be able to copy and use. And um, we also have other things. We have theming. You can be able to theme your application. You can be able to um, look at style and animations. And um, can be able to look at components. And this is, I just want to pick one of the components and attempt and see if this component can actually be used in our application. And what I want to do is um, just pick an app bar. And so for us to be able to use it, probably we can, uh, inside our template, have a V app, sort of like the container of our whole uh, page in this case. And then now we can pass in the app bar. So let me just copy what we have here and uh, paste it in here. And then after that, now for the main content, we can have V uh, main, we can have a container, and inside here, maybe we can just have paragraph tag and uh, have something like welcome to the app. I would like us to refresh and see how our app looks like. And you can see it's actually displaying it very nicely, meaning in this case, we actually have Vuetify in our application. So for example, we can attempt to give a different color to our app bar. So maybe I can pass here color. We can give it primary, something of that sort. Now you can see our application bar has some nice kind of uh, a bluish feel to it. 
So in this in this episode, I just wanted to show you that it's possible to use Vuetify in your Inertia.js application. I know there are other methods in which you can be able to install it, maybe using something like Jetstream. But apart from that, you can also actually install it directly as I have been able to demonstrate. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please consider giving us a subscription. If you have a question, a concern, a comment, a compliment, you can be able to share in the comment section below. Thank you very much.